Some time ago we had a look at Arctix Liquid Freezer 280A RGB, a great all-in-one using their, by then, unreleased P14 ARGB fans. Now what was a bit odd about our findings was that although the Freezer 360 using P12 ARGB fans was a bit behind the non-RGB counterpart, the 280 ARGB version with its P14 ARGB fans was quite a bit ahead. Back then I, I wasn't able to find out exactly why this is the case, but now let's meet Arctic's P14 ARGB. Finally we will find out if these really are Arctic's best 140mm fans. So these are Arctix P14 and the ARGB version. Very similarly to the smaller counterpart, these come in a pretty bare bones package in a small carton box containing only the fans and a couple of screws. The fans themselves look close to identical with only the size being a changing factor. Attached to the 5 pressure optimized wings we have a ring around the complete wing section. This ring is supposed to help with air guidance and eliminate a bunch of turbulences that might be created behind the fan. Just like the P12 IRGB, the P14 ARGB got that 0 dB mode, which again is just like a kill switch underneath 10% PVM. On the connection end we got the usual 4 pin PVM for power and 3 pin ARGB for your colors. But as this is using Arctix PSD daisy chain style connectors, both the 400mm long ARGB and PVM cables are accompanied by an additional header allowing you to pass through the original signal to the next fan and run everything of a single header. Unfortunately at this point I need to address the same issue I already had with the P12 IRGB. Why are these cables not coming out on the same side? This is going to be annoying as hell if you do not have space on two sides of the fan. Just just make them come out on a single side. It, it makes so much more sense. That being said, let's go over the specs. While spinning at up to 1900 RPM, these behemoths are able to push around 69 CFM at 2 mm of H2O. Now what's quite interesting here is that this pattern is actually just a repetition. Comparing Arctic's P12 with their ARGB versions, we can see that we have a 200 RPM increase while sacrificing a bit of airflow and static pressure. On the P14s it's pretty much the same thing, gaining 200 RPM but losing a bit on every other end. That being said, due to how the Liquid Freezer 280 review turned out, the expectations for this review were that the ARGB version would kick the original P14s butt. And I was right. In our usual benchmark, we can see that the P14 ARGB managed to keep the 3700X at 43 degrees C. That's a solid 6 degrees lead to the original P14. And for now the very best 140mm fan we have ever seen. Very solid result. And this also explains why the Liquid Freezer 280 ARGB managed to outperform the older non-RGB 280 version, while the 360 using 120mm fans did not. With the P14 ARGB outperforming the original P14 by such a huge margin, it's normal that there is now a new AAO king on the market. But noise to performance is where it really counts, so let's take a look at that. Normalizing all of our numbers, we can see that none of Arctic's other fans are coming even close to their newest P14 ARGB gods. All across the board, these 140mm monsters are taking the lead in both cooling performance and noise. Sure, they are not able to keep up with something like Noctia's NFA 12X25s, but they are pretty damn near close to that. Except of course for that little part here. So performance as a whole, both raw cooling and noise, really really good results and by far Arctic's best fans we have seen until now. All in all, the fan is a solid catch. The quality is pretty good, nothing feels wiggly or cheaply made, the cable length is appropriate although coming out of the real place, the RGB implementation is solid, the colors are vivid, able to reach the outer ends without any issue, the whole PST system is just a, a gift from God, it's, it's so useful to run everything over a single header, and in the end it's just overall a very good fan and we can absolutely recommend it if you are looking for some good 140mm fans combined with some nice looking RGB. 
On the price side, a triple pack of these is currently going for around 42 euros, so about 14 euros per fan. Which is absolutely alright, no doubt there, especially if you compare them to a pack of P12 ARGBs, which is about 7 euros less, which is not that much considering how much more performance you will squeeze out of that 140mm form factor. But okay, this should be it for Arctic's P14 ARGB. At this point I would like to thank Arctic for sending these over to us. But if you want to keep watching, have a look at our NF A12 X25 review, which is basically the best fan we have seen until now. On a small side note, we now have a Discord server. People kept asking, we created one. I still don't know where this is heading, but I will leave the link in the description and we will figure it out somehow. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.